In the previous video, we saw how to use the online manual to solve doubts quickly. And now we are going to continue with the basic concepts of the use of materials in Blender. For this section, we are going to use a model that you can download for free from my Gumroad page. I will leave you the link in the description of the video. And if you are enjoying this series and want to go deeper, I recommend you to take a look at my complete Blender course for beginners. I will leave you the link also in the description. And now, let's go to the next level. Let's see how materials work in Blender. First of all, we have to know that here in the solid view, we can't see the quality of the material. So we always have to switch to the material view. And by default, the cube is white. Down here, we have the material tab. And right now, we don't have any material created, so let's create one. I'm going to call this a cube. And we're going to look at some of the main qualities that materials have as such. When we go to the Material tab, we have these sliders. Base color, metallicity, roughness, IOR, which is index of refraction, alpha, and normals. The first thing we have is the base color, which is as simple as the color of the surface. Here you can see that the color of the surface changes as I move it. It is as simple as that. The second concept is the metallicity. With this slider, we determine the metallicity value of the object. In real life, materials are usually either 100% metallic or non-metallic. So ideally, this slider should be at 0 or 1. When it is at 1, this material has a much more metallic reflection. The third concept is roughness. And roughness is simply the hardness of the reflection of our surface. When we have a very high roughness, our cube will hardly reflect the environment. The other elements of the environment are almost not going to be able to reflect here. But when we reduce the roughness, you notice that you can perceive the environment. At this moment, if we check up here, you can see that we are illuminating our object with this environment. If you want to visualize it, you can adjust these environment values here. And there, you can see how these materials interact with the environment. So the main concepts are base color, metallicity, and roughness. With these three concepts, we can already achieve a great variety of different materials. Now, this material is applied completely to this cube, but an object can also have several materials. So let's see how we can apply several different materials to the same object. I'm going to remove the cube and I'm going to turn on this collection where I have this rubber duck and we're going to put the materials on it. I'm going to come back here and remove the background and also to make it look a little bit cleaner I'm going to remove the ground. So this duckling is made up of three objects. There's the main body, there's the bill, and there's the eyes. And in the main body, for example, we have this little necklace. So here we have an object that can have two materials. So let's start applying the materials to it. I'm going to create a new material. I'm going to put a yellow color on it. We can make it a little bit more reflective if we want. I'm also going to put a new material on the bill. A very saturated orange color, like this. And the little eyes are completely black. We're going to put a lot less roughness on these, so they're going to be more reflective. Now. To put more than one material on the same object, I have to create in this panel another material. We only have one, we're going to name it yellow, and we're going to create a new material slot and a new material. And I'm going to give it a different color. It can be, for example, a very intense red. And to assign it, I enter edit mode. I'm going to select all this ring. I'm doing it with the letter L. And I press assign material. Then it assigns me this second material. And with this we have then the basic dynamics of the operation of the materials in Blender. And in the next video, we are going to see how we can create a scene so you can render your own models.